Hello! Today I will show you how such a 3x3 command block door can be that small. And the answer is I got these command blocks each to execute actually nine commands to set block uh, to use the set block command nine times to modify that door. Well, how did I do that? So I will show you how you can ex execute as an example two commands within uh, with only one command block. So I will place this command block and I will copy one command in and I will execute it and in the chat you see it um, executed two commands um, one was say one so if a command block well would execute that, that that gives that output with its name which is an add and say two and to get this working I will go through all the concepts and how you do this with the commands. So um, first step is eh. So here, here it is. I summon some falling sand entity one block above the command block. It c they got some extra data, um, some ta time value equal to one this is because if, if if it was zero, which was uh, is default, it um, would actually instantly disappear. And the tile ID is 157, and this is an activator way in which this what this does is it. Um, I didn't say it summons this activator way and activates it because there's already power in the command block. Why not use set block? Well, because any entity can write another entity um, and I let minecart command blocks um, write this falling sand entity like this. Here you see I summon some minecart command block because the top one entity in a stack is always that what is mentioned here at the same position and this one is widening the falling sand entity we had and it has as a command say hi. So if we execute this one it will place the command block minecart on here and execute it actually a few times because the button has a um, kind of long activation duration and they activate multiple times within that time. So um, yeah this is not very helpful as there must be a way to get rid of the command block minecart and the activator activator whale and this is where some lava comes into play. This is the same as before but it's not the command is not say hi but set block the block the minecart is in is this position actually and 10 is flowing lava and 7 is some damage value that makes it a very small slice of flowing lava it, if you execute this it, lo it looks like that um, the minecart gets activated it set blocks the block it burns it drops no um, item because the item instantly burns its as well and then the lava floats away. Um, well this did nothing else than like nothing useful so to get this um, doing something useful you can actually add some minecart command blocks a uh, command block minecarts in between the falling sand and this top command block minecart in the stack and the command looks like this it's a minecart command block widening another minecart command block which writes another one and which writes the falling sand and the um, command of the one um, at the top no at the one of the one at the bottom is say one the one above is say two and the one on top is 
the set block of the lava. And this is it. This makes this command block execute two commands. And this is how this here works uh, completely. And this is actually also how this command block here I showed in another video works. But this uses another fix with inverted slimes to make it work with bigger stacks. But I sh will not explain this in that video. I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope my English was kind of understandable. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.